Bonjour, bonjour, mon ami. Je suis Maria Marcel. Bienvenue à Home Bake. Today I'm going to show you how to make French bread. This is going to be crusty on the outside and soft in the inside. So guys, this is so simple. I'm going to show you exactly how to make French bread. It's a very good bread that you can just dip it into olive oil and Parmesan cheese or whatever you like. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you exactly how to make this crusty French bread. So the first thing to do is put about three tablespoons of water, lukewarm water. This is active yeast. For using active yeast, you need to make sure that your yeast is active. One fourth cup of all purpose flour. Water, one pack of yeast, one fourth cup water. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to cover this for at least 45 minutes. This is the first thing you should always do in order for you to get flavor, okay, and the texture. So do not forget to always, always make this first before adding the rest of your ingredients. Guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and make a comments below. We'll see you in 45 minutes. Hi guys, welcome back. So the dough is nice and ready. This is what it looks like. Check this out. Beautiful. So after 45 minutes, three cups of all-purpose flour. This is three cups. One teaspoon of salt. Three teaspoon of sugar. Mix. Three fourth cup water. I'm going to add three fourth cup cold water. Last thing I'm going to add is the butter. One and a half tablespoon of butter. What you should have. Start kneading. So the way to knead the dough, always, always use the heel of your palm. I'm going to use all this flour until my dough is nice and soft. So guys, there are so many techniques how you can make the dough nice and soft. Some people just bang their... <laughs> Some people bang their dough, you know. Whether you are slapping your dog, kneading your dog. I mean, guys, there are so many techniques. It's fun. Look at my hand. It's so nice and clean. That's when you know you did a good job. Let's check. So let's do some stretching. Okay, guys, this is good. So when you get this nice and bouncy, ready to make a ball and set this aside. Let's lotion the dough. The kitchen is cold. Go ahead and put this outside by the sun. So this is what I'm going to do just like that nice and soft so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to remove the gas so i'm going to punch the dough down this 
this is the second proofing. I want you to check this out. So this is my second proofing. All right, look at this. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to cut this in six pieces because I'm not trying to make a long bread. I'm just trying to a good size. All right, so I'm going to cut this in six. Now, of course, if you are working in the bakery, you have to use scale. So you're gonna give the same amount to your customers. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this in six. And fold. And fold. And fold. And pinch. Pinch the edge and bring it in. And pull. So I have six pieces here. Mm. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I am going to Cover this and proof it again until double in size. So now is I am preheating the oven, including the hot water. We're just gonna get hot water. If you don't have hot water, just boil the water, put it in the pan. I'm going to put the oven to 450 degrees. Heating, so I'm going to put this on the bottom oven so we are going to put this on the bottom just like that guys all right so the oven is on 450 degrees it's ready i'm going to reduce the heat to 400 degrees fahrenheit While I am waiting for the dough to double in size, I want to give a shout out to all my members, Tony Towers, thank you, thank you, their brother, Daddy Rod, <laughs> thank you so much, and uh, Sister Brave Young Lion, Sister Yomi Prince, friends in the white world, thank you so much for always supporting me, Sister Iko Daira, Sister Yosmi, Sister Viviana, Sister Anne Official. These are the names that I did not get a chance to shout out the last time because when you are doing something, all the name just doesn't come right up, you know? <laughs> just doesn't come right up. Bonjour, mon ami. <laughs> Bienvenue. So today I am making you French crusty bread. That's right. So this is requested by blogman tv blogman tv hello hello there brother i hope you are making this bread today well brother blogman i hope well brother blogman i want you to make this bread and make me proud <laughs> sister andrea sister nel chua sister cielo arieta nasser anthem channel brother the oracle channel mr dabao my handsome friend Gonzaga Venice. <laughs> boy Kamote. Hello, hello, boy Kamote. Shout out. And Brother Ram Vlog Official. John Tech Reviews. So I want to give a shout out to Gopal Terminator. That's right. And so Phong Nam Channel. <laughs> and to all my beautiful friends in Vietnam and Taiwan. Nya. 
Kam Vlog. Hello, hello nyo, Kam Vlog. And Jeannie Wu. <laughs> hello, hello, Jeannie Wu. And Huang Kang Vlog. Hello, hello, hello to all my beautiful friends that's been supporting my channel. So, thank you so much. Jonathan Raspberry. <laughs> hello, Jonathan Raspberry. Making guys, I'm waiting for the dough to double up. Hi to Dennis Military Vlog. Hello, 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 my dear friend. My brother Leon Discard Tips and my sister Rina Kalim Lim. So, guys, there are just so many. <laughs> thank you guys so much for always supporting my channel. Okay, so now. I am ready to slice the Give a slice. If you have any blade, go ahead and use the blade. Okay guys, so I am ready to put the bread in the oven. I wanna show you what it looks like. Here you go, once, it, once you see the opening like that, it is ready to bake. Okay, here we go. As you see, the water is steaming. Put this inside. And also get a spray bottle. And spray. The steam will create the crust. Check this out. This is lovely. Wow. You hear the hollow sound? So let's check on the bottom. Very nice. If you hear the hollow sound, that is ready. guys so uh, the bread is nice and ready I'm going to put this on the rack It's gonna be so good so when you are making your bread guys for those of you that are new into making bread you can make any shape you like you can make some long sandwiches some short I mean this is a good size for sandwiches you just have to cut it and make a sandwich you know or you can just eat that with Parmesan cheese and olive oil I mean it's just pretty nice and crunchy on the outside but soft in the inside now i'll show you what it looked like you hear that crusty sound wow check this out that is beautiful Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. I love Parmesan cheese and olive oil, so all you gotta do is just check this out. Or if you want butter, you can have butter on the side. I mean, isn't that beautiful? 
All right, guys, so you're gonna have butter, olive oil, I mean, check this bread. This is a lovely bread. Now let's make a sandwich. Sandwich time. All right. Isn't that a lovely bread? Some cheese. Put some smoked turkey. Some salad. Tomatoes. Black pepper. If you have a mustard, go ahead and use the mustard. This tomato candy. So what you can do also, guys, to bring extra flavor, this is that tomato candy that I had made before. You can check out my blog. This is to bring sweet and extra flavor to your sandwich. Just like that. This is a good sandwich, I mean, wow. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> this is a beautiful sandwich, I mean, come on. If you don't want the sandwich, I mean, nice and crunchy on the outside and soft in the inside. Wow. All nice. Mmm. Bread is just beautiful. The texture, the look, everything. I'm going to dip this in the olive oil, Parmesan cheese. Mmm. Awesome. Mmm. Wow, this is so chewy. You can also make this awesome bread. <clears throat> All right, guys. We bingo. <laughs> All right, guys. Sandwich time. This is good. I think I need some water. This is a beautiful sandwich. All right. <laughs> it's just beautiful. So guys, if you don't know how to make that candy tomato, I also have the blog. So you can check it out. Put the candy tomatoes on your sandwich. It gives you that extra sweet flavor. Try it. Just trust me. It's good. I mean, the tomato candy, it's good for everything. All right. Tasting time. Mmm. Wow. So good. Lovely. My tummy is getting full. <laughs> so you don't have to be French to make French bread. Educate yourself, learn something, and make it at home. I guarantee you, your family is going to love it. If you learned something today, don't forget to subscribe. This is your friend, Marie Marcel at iHomeBake. And um, until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Merci beaucoup. A bientôt.